Hello everybody and welcome to the RC Bricks channel. Today I've made a fully RC minifigure scale excavator. This excavator uses Circuit Cubes Electronics, which are mini LEGO compatible motors. It uses six cubit motors and it uses two battery units to power it, making it very powerful. So let's take a closer look now at some of the details on this excavator. So this excavator has a driver's cabin that's able to seat one minifigure. It has five control sticks and it has a gauge inside of the driver's cabin. Around the back, it has a vent system to keep the excavator cool and it has an exhaust system. And around the other side, it has a folding ladder with a handrail so that the minifigure can get in and out of the excavator. So now that you've seen what the excavator looks like, I'm gonna get it connected up to the app so that we can take a closer look at its functions. So the excavator is all connected up to the app. I'm using a PlayStation controller that goes through the Circuit Cubes app and then communicates with the two Bluetooth battery bricks to tell the motors what to do. This excavator has drive controlled by two motors in the back so that it can drive forward, backwards, and pivot both directions. It also has a turntable and a motor underneath the chassis going through a worm gear, and that allows the top superstructure to rotate. And it can rotate a full 360 degrees. You also have full control over the arm with this motor under the cabin controlling these two actuators to make the arm go down and then lift it back up. You also, you also have one motor on the top and that motor controls the middle joint. So you can make that actuator extend to scoop or retract to dump it. And then it has a third motor on the end of the arm controlling this last actuator and that controls the scoop independently. It moves this linkage so that you can hold the material or you can retract the actuator to dump the material out of the bucket. So this excavator works really well. The circuit tubes motors are extremely powerful for their small size, making them work really well for this job. It was a little bit of a challenge to make all of the gears work in the small space but i managed to do it and it works pretty well and it also it also looks pretty good even though it's a little bit blocky so hopefully you guys all like this video and make sure to like this video because it helps out a lot and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more lego technic videos on this channel